Hi guys and welcome to my channel. First off I would just like to point out I'm not a professional nor do I claim to be. I just like helping others who are just starting out as I was there once and had so many people refuse their advice as they had nothing to gain from it. I started out doing photography and evolved my editing to suit my style. I've now gotten to the stage where I've finally found my editing style and I will carry this across everything I photograph. With the introduction of GoPros to my camera bag, I wanted my photography style to be mirrored in my videos. I used Visco to edit my photos, but with the lack of Visco tools for video, I had to find another way of achieving this style. So that's when I started to experiment, editing with basic corrections first and then grading with LUTs or magic bullet looks. For those that don't know, a LUT means a lookup table, which is essentially the same as a camera raw preset, a Lightroom preset or Photoshop action. LUTs are great at giving you a specific look in your video or even your images, but they are by no means a one click does all. I still finish off my videos with curves and other corrections. I have found loads of tutorials on editing your video in Lightroom and creating LUT files using Lightroom, but I have yet to find anything on creating LUT files with Camera Raw. So to help out others like me who bought the Camera Raw versions of Visco, or for those of you who don't use Lightroom, I am going to show you how to create LUT files using Camera Raw. It's actually a lot more straightforward than I thought and it's also something that even the basic video editor can achieve. First things first though, in order to create your LUT files you will need to download Look Converter by Picture Instruments. I will add their website link in the description and it's available for both Windows and Mac users. It costs $25 which I personally think is very little but you can do a free 14 day trial to see if you like it. I just want to say that I am in no way affiliated with Picture Instruments. So if you are like me and know how to use Photoshop or Lightroom and are making the jump over to editing your own videos, keep watching to find out how to keep your photos and videos consistent looking for your social media channels. Whenever I start a new video project I always like to organise all of my files before I start just to make things more organised and easier to find. So I start off with a new folder and I create lots of individual folders within it and these are After Effects, assets, footage, looks, music and sound effects. So once you've got the footage that you want to use, open up After Effects and import your footage in and then create a new comp. Now if you're using a few different clips you can go ahead and select screenshots for each of the clips um, just for the sake of the tutorial I'm just using one clip just to make it easier so what I'll do is I'll trim my work area down to one frame and then I'll add this composition to the render queue and then I'll select JPEG sequence format options and always make sure it's the biggest file and then click OK. Next I will go ahead and select my footage folder from within my my work files and I will save it there and then select render. So drag your screenshot and open it within Photoshop. Once it's opened go to filter and then camera raw filter then go ahead and edit using your favorite presets um, for the sake of this tutorial I had already created one earlier and that was just using Visco's Vista 100 plus plus when it comes to Visco I always use the Agfa Vista family are the ones I use the most so once you've made your adjustments in camera raw click on the presets tab select the four horizontal lines and select save settings then select save and name it whatever you like and then select OK to exit out of Camera Raw. Now's your chance if you want to add in any curves adjustments layers to do so here. Um, I've already created some that I use across all of my my photos and videos. It's just a combination of some mats and some other curves adjustments. Let me just go ahead and add those in. 
and some other and once I've gotten all of my curves in I usually go ahead and just adjust the opacities of each just to my taste but obviously this is going to be different for you guys depending on what your footage is so once I'm happy um, I will save out my individual custom curves layers using the save curves preset and then saving them into my looks file here and then into my looks file now don't close this image yet because it's always good to have a reference point for the end and you'll you'll see what I mean later on in the video now you need to open up look converter and in the bottom left hand corner of the folder select the folder icon and then select wherever you want to be saving out your LUT files to just by default I normally keep mine on the desktop because it's easy to find next click on the neutral filter icon and save this somewhere that's easily accessible then drag the neutral filter image into Photoshop then go up to filter and camera raw filter then navigate to the presets tab and select the preset you just made and select OK to exit camera raw now save your image for web and make sure that metadata is select to all and then select save and what I normally do here is I normally give it the same name as I called my preset within camera raw just to make things easy to find now you can close the filter image because we're finished with that one now Now back in Look Converter, select 3D LUT and then select the JPEG that you just saved out of Photoshop and click Open. And that's it with Look Converter. You can now close this dialog box. Now go back into your After Effects file and then go to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer don't forget to make sure that your workspace is all the way back out to the edges then go to effect utility and apply color LUT now you can add in the LUT file you've just created and then this is why I say don't vote close the Photoshop file because it's now good to do a quick comparison obviously without the curves and I think that that's pretty close now this probably isn't the best practice but I like to add an adjustment layer for each of my curves layers so that I can adjust the opacity to each for my liking. So again go to layer, new, adjustment layer. Effect, color correction, curves. Then go to open and then navigate to the curves that you just saved out and then repeat this step for all of your curves adjustments and then repeat this step for all of your and that's it you have now successfully corrected and graded your footage using your own custom made LUT file in camera raw hopefully you found this tutorial useful and easy to understand sorry if I lost you at times but this was my first attempt at a tutorial I will be creating more tutorials very soon, again aimed at the more beginners of you, so if you like this, subscribe for more tutorials coming up. Also if you guys have any questions on this tutorial or have any suggestions for future tutorials then leave a comment and I will see what I can do. Thanks again and see you next time.